Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. You see a little glare on my glasses, sorry. Uh, I'm bringing to you my shampoo routine for my extensions. For what I'm going to be doing today is I have the Passion Bohemian Curl 24 inch in the color 425, which is a burgundy. And I have the Bohemian Passion Curl 24 inch in the color 27. So these are the two brands that I will be shampooing today. The formula I will be using to shampoo hair is this. I will leave the link below to how you can purchase this product. All right. This shampoo is a lightweight, sulfate free formulation made to cleanse all official hair while soothing the cuticles of the hair. It rinses easily, leaving the extensions lightweight, smooth, and flowing. Its sulfate free formulation makes its optional choice for shampoo and color treated extensions without fading. So, it also, let me see, directions. Directions to achieve one to two lathers until hair is cleansed, rinse through me. Ingredients and water, so if you don't need blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, just reading some of the things that's on here. The conditioner is formulated with vitamin B5 and silicones made to smooth ex extensions. This conditioner silkens hair that has frizz from color treated hair or even day wear and tear without leaving any residue or heaviness behind. The conditioner is very easy to rinse without leaving any residue. Smooth white leg extensions. Mm -hmm. So, because like Corona has been on the go, this this conditioner is formulated with B5 and silicones. Okay, made to smooth synthetic hair. Okay, so, and it also has a great smell to it. So, let me see. Yes, it also has a great smell to it. So, ladies, cleansing your extensions. We all know that this, our extensions, all this hair that we purchase, whether it be weave, synthetic, human, human blend, whatever, it comes from China. And you know coronavirus is out, so we got to take other extra steps to make sure we cleanse the hair that we need to do. So I filled my sink with water, I added the shampoo, and I let warm water, and I let the hair soak. And here it is. I pull it up, and I still have the hair inside of the net. I didn't take the net off. See? And I have the hair in the net, and I just go down. And up. You don't want to frizz the hair. You don't want to do no friction on the hair. Just like if it was your hair, you don't wash your hair like this. You know, you come down, you come down. And with this being synthetic hair, you don't want to be running your hands through it. You just want to come down, up and down. And this is how you shampoo your extensions. You know, I let it soak first for 10 minutes. Now I'm taking it out and I'm up and down. Now I'm going to put that down there like that. And I'm going to change the water to rinse it off, change the clear water, and then I'm going to do the conditioner. I want to try to show you the color of the water if I can without trying to drop my camera. See the color of the water? Just letting it soak and rinsing it off. So we definitely, I wanted to turn the camera around so you can see this part of the effect where I just I just squeeze this is how I squeeze the wood out squeeze and you see ladies I still have the net on the extension the net is still on the extension 
So now, I let that dirty water out. Cleanse out the sink. And yes, I do re-cleanse my uh, sink when I'm finished with bleach. Now I turn this water into cool water. You don't want the water hot. Cool water. I'm going to rinse off the soap. Just let the water run down. Stop the sink back up. I'm pushing the hair into the water. I want to make sure I get off any soap. And again, I just up and down motion. Just gonna take off any extra soap. I let that water drain, cut the water off. And again, I squeeze. Just squeeze. 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 I'm not doing no friction on the hair. I'm gonna run some more cold water, stop the sink up. And I'm going to rinse it one more time before I add conditioner. And then I'm going to go straight into twisting the hair for passion twist. I'm going to make sure There's no soap left in it. Now again, I'm going to run the water. And I'm going to use the conditioner. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of conditioner. And I'm going to move it, splash it around, just like this. And give it a little bit more. And I'm going to break it right on up. Not time to do it too hard. I don't want my camera to get wet. Right, right. You know it, ladies. But I, I figured I needed to. I needed to do this type of video because I have a couple of people that shampoos their their hair, and when they do so, they do so much friction that when they finish, now they made all the curls unruly. So then when you go to try to apply the hair to the head, there's not too much you can really do. Like, it's so frizzed out. So I wanted to make this video so ladies can see just how you shampoo your extensions. No friction, just up and down. And you see, this is 24 inches. And this is all I'm doing. And you see, this time I got my hand... I got to have it this way because I have the conditioner in there. So I want to make sure that I'm getting everything saturated. Hold it up. Let the water out. Some people might look at this and say it's a daunting routine, but it's, it's a needed video. I haven't seen anything out there on YouTube like it. So, look at here. I know my videos don't be up to par like they should, but I just try to get the information out there. I'm still learning. So, somebody 
you have some techniques you want to drop a line please do i'm still learning how to edit my video add music i haven't you know i mean i'm not technology like that but i'm getting there slowly but surely but in the meanwhile me doing it i'm just showing you all my mishaps because when i get it perfect you're gonna see how i struggled to get there but i got there so here we have it Get the water out again. I'm going to fill it one more time and I'm going to rinse it one more time. As you see, the hair is still intact. See? I still have the net on there. And I'm just pressing down cleansing the hair taking it out let me go grab me a towel and I go back the water rinses clear let me show you the water let me squeeze this out The water was cloudy and fuzzy and had some little particles in it when I first shampooed. Now the water is clear and this hair is clean. And I lay it on the towel. Look at that water. That hair is clean. What I wanted to show you was because I'm adding color to the hair that I already twisted, this is the hair that already been twisted. I just twisted that. So I wanted to add some color. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna dry this hair. I'm not gonna dry it all the way, but I will cut off a couple strands. I'm, this is the burgundy. This is that 425, okay? Here it is. I'm gonna grab a couple of these strands and I'm just going to cut it off. Right there. Let you see me do that. I'm not trying to make too much friction. And I separate it just like that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take two strands. I want to make sure they be somewhat the same length. But I don't want no blunt. So, yeah, so if I, once I put it in here, they'll be fine. And what I'm going to do is, I'm doing this while it's wet so it can dry. The way I want it to dry. So I'm opening it up just like this. Open it up just like this. Okay, just opening the ends, separate them. Because I want to be able to twist it out. Mind you, this is passion twist. So then I'm just gonna then I'm just gonna lay it on the hanger right here. And I'm gonna twist it out. And this is two strands. I got to hang it up there so I can show. I didn't want to move the camera some more. I just want to show you exactly what I was doing. I twisted this hair last night. So I'm twisting this one today because I ran out to get some color. I don't want it to be too long, so I'm, I'm testing right now, testing the waters. So do I want to use two strands? Do I need to cut it? Like, because I need it to be somewhat the same length what I already have. I don't want it to be longer. And I don't want to have to cut it in the midst of.
they're looking kind of thick so I may use one strand instead of two see it's thicker than what I have so then I'll try it because but it will shrink up so that's what I'm basically looking for so here it is one strand opening the edges and I'm gonna try it with one strand Oh, cabinet opening up. Let me see if I can get this door to clean it. Uh, I don't know how to get this thing to stay. Now I have it sitting on the chair is easier. But we have to make this thing work. Let's see. So I don't want this video to be long. But I'm holding it down. And I'm just twisting the way that the curl falls. Because I just want to add, like I said, some color to the style. And by doing that, I just went out and got some more Bohemian with the straight kind. And I'm just going to throw a couple strands in there. And it will curl up. See, so there we have it. Let me take this one off. See, the two strands was fine, but they're thick. So they're thicker than the other. And I don't want it to stand out like that. So I'm going to take these two strands off and separate them and make them one. There you have it. And there you have it. I'm going to twist them out and I'm going to add some burgundy to the color. And I'm going to do the same thing with the T27. Let me get one strand out so you can see. I like you to see everything that's going on. You see, after I shampoo it, it's not that bad at all. It's not bad at all. So then again, I open the bottom and separate it because you want to make sure that you're able to twist it back. So you want that unevenness on the end. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the hanger and I'm going to go ahead and twist it down. And I'm twisting it while it's still wet so that when it dries, it's going to dry right in the form of where I'm having it. Actually, I may just, uh, I'm just going to let it dry in the form of where it's at. I was thinking about putting it in my dryer, but because this, this hair is lightweight and it feels like it's drying already and I really didn't do anything to it just yet, so it's fine. Twisting it down like this, looking down on the hair. I can see a couple little frizz, but I'll just cut those off. But no matter what, you have some frizz anyway, because it's bohemian hair. So you just go and you just trim anything you see. That you may think that's sitting out of the ordinary. Just be careful because you don't want to cut the hair. So when it bounces back up, there you have it. Now see, looking at it, I can tell on the length that the length of the color here is longer. So what I'll do is on the next couple of strands, I'll cut them a little bit at the tip and then make them a little bit more shorter because I definitely want them to just rock right on end with what I have here. Now, a couple of these pieces are already long, so you know, it's not that bad, but I'm just going to cut them just a little bit so they can blend in. All right, so there you have it, how to shampoo your extensions, the product that I use, and how I twist out um, for my passion twist. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Don't cost you a thing. Subscribe, girl, because I got more to come.